Okay, some of you may question my methodology and the Korean method, the Asian method for finding a knocking point. I want to explain it to you. I'm also going to put a link to KTA Europe's video who explains it. That's where I got it from. And it's just the old traditional way of doing it. Um, when you find the knocking point in the string by finding the balance point on the side of the bow where it balances and doing that and tying your knocking point there, this is where your arrow should be knocked. So yeah, kooky witchcraft, absolute nonsense. No, because on this side of the bow, you do the same thing. This part, this part of the bow This is where your hand goes. Korean bow, Turkish bow, same principle. Uh, but that's just like how you find your knocking point on a Korean bow. And the balance point on the front of the bow by the grip goes in that part of your hand. Both your hands are the same size. So that's why it matches up to that point of the string. It's two measurements of your hand, your hand. So that's why this knocking point is very specific to you. So as long as you're gripping the bow in the same spot, and that's, that's key, and that's critical, but that spot is an actual spot. It's not just an arbitrary spot. That spot is also right here. And it's right here on your hand. If you imagine where your bone in your hand, the two meet at your wrist, at the thumb, where that juncture is, that's where you're placing your palm. So in essence, it's like that proportion of your hand versus that proportion. So, hope that made some sense. Cut. Crazy glue. Or super glue. Either or. On the knot, and smear a little bit all over the knock. This little dab. You see a little dab of super glue or crazy glue. And then these will just be able to, these will like spin up and down the serving. So you just tie one layer down, tie, tie, you know, on either end, then tie on top of what you just tied back up the other way. Then just tie a square knot. Last, trim it. Apply a little crazy glue. When you apply it, dab this down and flatten the square knot ends into it to like make this as cylindrical as possible. 